Twice baked potatoes in the Ninja Speedy. That's what we're cooking tonight. And let me show you what we got going on here. First off, I picked myself out two large baking potatoes. About as big as my hand. I've got some amazing butter that we'll be putting on top. Look it up. It's the great stuff. I've got us uh, some good old fashioned daisy sour cream. We're gonna cut up some chives to sprinkle over the top. Medium cheddar cheese, give it a little more of that cheese flavor. And a little hit of my favorite Himalayan pink salt with black pepper and garlic from McCormick. And we're gonna do all of that in the Ninja Speedy. Let's get started. All right, this part depends on the size of your potatoes. But you need to get some water into your Speedy. That is two cups. I'm going to add one more. We'll see if three is enough. Next thing we want to do is also, dependent on the size of your potatoes, is going to depend on where we're going to place that rack. So that's going to be pretty level with the top, meaning that it's going to be pretty close to the air fryer. Let's check it out on the lower position for that. Just fold in their little feet there. And let's drop it all the way down and see how we do. I think that's going to work out better, so we'll go in the lower position. Let's get started. Now just like your oven version of potato, you do want to poke a hole or two in these. Make it kind of deep, deep as you can go. That's to let the pressure off, let the steam out, so they don't uh, blow up or mess up. Go ahead and drop your entire pot into the speedy, and let's get let's get it set up. All right, if you've used it for something else and it's in the down position, make sure your lever is in the up position for rapid cook. Let's bring it on down so you can see what we're doing here. All right, we've got the rapid cooker section on. We are gonna go steam and bake. This is a potato, we don't wanna kill it. 300 will work just fine. And as far as time is concerned, uh, that will depend on the size of your potato. Uh, I believe 35 minutes should do it. Um, probably around the 30 minute mark, we'll open her up, uh, pierce it with something and just see if we're getting tender inside or not. And if we're not, we'll just extend the time just simply by pressing this, or we'll take them out. Don't forget, these are twice baked potatoes, so uh, stay tuned for part two, because once I get them out, um, I'm gonna do some cool stuff, and we're gonna put them back in. Let's go ahead and uh, give these a little tenderness check. It's been about 30 minutes. Woo! Man, we are steaming up in here, boy. Let's give them a second. All right, so I'm going to be careful when you do check these because we will be splitting these in half to make the twice bake. So you want to put your knife dead center. Okay, I just cruised right through that one. Let's see if we can cruise through this one. We did. We'll give it a squeeze with the tongs as well. We want to make sure they're pretty tender inside, guys. Let's go one more time. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, the skin's got a nice crisp to it. All right, let's check our water level. It's looking good. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go uh, five... I'm going to change the timer here. Five more minutes. Uh, just to make sure. And uh, we'll go ahead and split them. Um, take the insides out of them and do what we're going to do to them. And make us some twice-baked taters. So we're going to go ahead and just split these lengthwise. Just get them close to center as you can. all the way through the skin. We want to separate them. And let's move that one to the side. Make sure you got some tongs or something, guys, because these are obviously right out of the speedy and they are very, very, very hot. Yeah, pretty good in the center there. And uh, what we're gonna do now is grab a bowl of some sort. And we're going to do exactly what you think I'm going to do. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to scoop the centers out. Try not to scoop all the way to the skin. 
So I'm just kind of leaving a eighth inch there around. I want to leave a little structure on the skin to sort of hold it together. So if you start to see skin on the bottom, um, like right there, uh, stop. It's far enough. Got plenty out. And I'll just set that aside and we'll do the rest of them. They are so hot, I'm going to put my big uh, X-Chef glove on because <laughs> they're just a little too hot to hold, I guess. Anyway, rinse and repeat. Let me pull that camera out for you a little bit. Rinse and repeat. Just uh, leave a little edge. If you could do it, it's kind of hard to do, but do your best. That's good. And so they want to look about like that when you're done. And set them aside and keep moving. First thing we're going to do is hit this with a little salt and pepper. And you know, obviously, what I'll be using. It's the only thing I ever use. This is all to taste. Everything we're going to do right now is to taste. Okay, you remember that really good butter I showed you in the beginning? Well, this is 82% butter fat. This does not taste like or act like any other butter you've ever had. Like your normal Walmart butter is probably, I don't know what the butter fat is. They won't put it on the label. It's, it's probably very, very, very low. Uh, this is outstanding. If you can find it, grab it. So I've let about a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of this get soft out on the countertop while I was cooking. I'm going to get that right in there. And it'll melt pretty quick in this hot, uh, in this hot potato. Always add your ingredients you need melted first, guys. In other words, if you're going to put milk in something or sour cream, which we're going to do here, don't put that in first. It'll cool it down too far. Always put the cold stuff last. All right, so that butter is pretty much already gone. We're going to put a little bit of this, um, this cheddar cheese in there. Now we're going to top it with cheddar cheese too. So we just really going to use this as a binder and obviously we want that to melt as well so just go ahead and stir it let it sit around a minute or two let that melt in And basically, we're after the consistency of a of a creamy mashed potato is what we're, we're shooting for here. And we may have to add a little milk. It all depends on, on how much of everything you had. You know, how much potato, how much um, butter you used, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is a crazy big heaping tablespoon of sour cream. And I'm going to do two of them. We will also be topping it with more sour cream when we're finished. But we want to get that flavor right in there right now. And I can see right now we're probably not going to be quite as creamy as I'm hoping for. But we're definitely going to have the flavor. Steaming or steaming. So let's get just a little squirt of milk in there. And guys, if you're cooking with milk, get whole milk just get whole milk uh, nothing else because you, you need that fat content when you're cooking so just a little at a time with the milk uh, we don't want to go crazy we don't want to make this too thin so we're just going to slowly add a little milk in until you get it whatever consistency you guys are after I know what I'm looking for I'm looking for a little thinner than that but not much we're very close that's probably going to do it. Oh, yeah. Now well, that's looking good right there. It's still very thick, but thin enough to spoon into the potato halves. All right, set that over to the side. We'll grab ourselves a potato and we'll start reloading. Now, before you go heaping it all up, Let's get all four of these filled first. Let's make sure we have enough. Uh, sometimes, it all depends, I've done this a lot. Sometimes you uh, 
end up with a, ton, a lot of extra, and sometimes you end up with uh, just barely enough. All right, we're going to have a plenty to heap it up, it looks like. But I like to get them filled before I start heaping and then run out. And you can see why I tried to cut these the way I did, leaving the a little bit of potato in there because it needs to hold this weight without collapsing. Okay, so those are pretty evenly filled. This is what I got left. So we're just going to take that and divvy it up across these four. And that's what we should be looking like. Now, depending on how big those potatoes were that you guys cooked, mine were pretty big, obviously, uh, I would leave the rack on the bottom. So I'm going to leave the rack right down on the bottom, the same place we did the steam and bake. I want to use these to hold themselves up right, like so. And back into the speedy we go. Lid down. This time, we're going to take our lever in the down position. We're going to go into air fry mode because what we're after is to brown up the tops. So we can leave it right there on air fry. 390 is the default, it's fine. Time we could care less about because we're just gonna keep checking it about every five minutes or so. And when we get that nice brown crisp on the top, uh, we're ready to put our sour cream, chives, and more cheddar cheese and eat them. Well, there you go. This is eight minutes under air fry. Absolutely perfect. While they're steaming, smoking hot, let's cover them in some cheddar. Get that to start to melt. Let's hit them with some chives. Which, by the way, uh, if you're wondering, I did cut these up with a pair of scissors. I bought the whole chives and I just cut them up with scissors. And obviously you could cut into this, put another slab of butter in there, but I've got so much good butter and sour cream in it, I don't think we'll need to do that. And lastly, we will top these with a couple dollops of sour cream. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, guys. The chives. Of an amazing smell and that's it twice baked potatoes ninja speedy total time uh, about 45 minutes or so 35 messing around with them and about seven minutes on air fry so about 45 minutes let's dig into some of them Well, here we go. Everything you could want in a potato. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I've never had a potato that good in a restaurant. Everything is better in the Ninja Speedy. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell for notifications. Don't forget the thumbs up, the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like it. And we'll see you real soon on our next Ninja Foodie Speedy something.